Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Electronica in Munich and I'm joined by Thomas Wenzel from Gopal. Thomas, thank you for joining me. Um, let's start by just exploring what technologies are driving the test market and how that's impacting on Gopal at the moment. Yeah, the uh, market is driven, of course, uh, by using wall grid arrays, by using uh, microprocessors, high-speed single lanes. And uh, Goepel is uh, trying to provide respective test technologies so that we can cope with these challenges. Uh, Goepel most famous for is uh, for boundary scan. So mm. we are a company active in the boundary scan market. And we see uh, a nice growing uh, in this market over the years. But boundary scan alone uh, is not enough. We see also that uh, complementary technologies uh, needs to be developed and this was exactly what we have done in the past. So we have also launched, for example, processor emulation test, a technology that can help you to test uh, high speed interfaces, for example, DDR3 interfaces you can test. And, and we launched uh, last week uh, also a new technology called Chipworks. Okay. And Chipworks is a technology where you can control and access embedded instruments in chips. So it's a uh, chip embedded instrumentation uh, control technology. So everything what's necessary uh, to have a very high test coverage on the board, mm. but also to program, for example, flashes very fast. This is another target from us. And also um, to provide PLD programming tools. So we talk about uh, multi-dimensional systems. That mm. means every kind of application that you need uh, in most modern technologies, production technologies, that is what we are supplying. Okay, and it's every kind of test. And I've noticed over the last um, 12 months a whole group of new products being launched by, uh, by Gopal. So clearly during the downturn, there was no downturn in research and development. You were very busy with uh, new product development, new ideas. Well, um, I must admit, uh, we had last year, uh, despite the economic downturn, a, a growing of 2%, okay. which is for us a fantastic result mm. if I compare it to the market. Uh, so we were not forced to fire someone, we mm. kept all the stuff uh, inside and the employees are the assets of a company. Yes. So we kept all the brains together and uh, we launched uh, this year also over 30 new products. Wow. And so the, the slogan in Germany is use the bad times to develop new products and yeah. use the good times to sell them. To sell them. And so this is hopefully exactly what you're what starting to do now, right. is to sell those products. So if, um, if you were able to grow 2% while, whilst, the, whilst the market was in downturn, is that because the, the market for boundary scam was still expanding or because you were gaining market share from competitors? Yeah, well... Both? Uh, the, there's more and more competition in the boundary scan market and uh, that means also a company like us who, uh, who is more delivering to the premium suppliers or to the premium customers. Uh, we launched also uh, tools and solutions more for the low-cost applications. So we sold a lot of uh, the, these kind of uh, products as well. But this is uh, also a chance to grow new customers mm. which are long-term will invest more into boundary scan. And that means we made uh, a lot of business uh, with uh, many companies, so we are not focused just on the key accounts. And that helped us also to survive during the bad times. Mm. So, Okay. And in terms of your footprint, we're here in Germany. Obviously, Germany is a very important market, your home market. That's but correct. what about international markets? What about North America, Asia, other European areas? I must say that uh, Europe was the most stable market uh, that we have seen, so we were very happy mm. to, to be a European supplier. Uh, uh, the US and North America, that was uh, more or less a disaster last year. Okay. We, we felt very strong impact on that. Uh, Asia was also um, impacted, but Asia is at the moment the market where we have the highest growing mm. rate. So all the production shift is still, uh, as a matter of fact, still shifts to Asia. Yeah. So, uh, and we have to stay with our customers in touch, of course. But uh, we, we believe that also China will not just be a, a country where you will see production. They are going also to develop own products. So mm. in the future, we expect also to sell a lot of our high-end systems, development systems yeah. to companies who are active in telecommunication, for example. So uh, the market is growing significant also in Asia. Okay, excellent. And last question, we're at, uh, at Electronica 
as I say, your, your home region. Electronic is always a bit of a weather vane for the industry, a bit of an indicator as to where the industry is going. I know we're only at the end of day one, but what's the feedback been like so far today from, from the customers that you've seen? What we're hearing today is that uh, there are many new products in the queue developed by our customers uh, using latest technologies, mm -hmm. uh, using high-end FPGAs, high-speed lanes. So this is exact uh, the kind of applications that we are targeting on with our tools, so we feel very comfortable also for the future. But uh, nevertheless, we would like to grow the market, so we would like to convince people that uh, boundary scan is a very great technology uh, to cover a lot of problems uh, that they have in uh, research and development as well in production. And uh, yeah, from this point of view, we see a great future for, yeah. for Gopal, but also for the technology itself. Yeah, and you get that message out with technology days. You do quite a lot on the customer education and the information side. That is correct. Uh, we're making regular boundary scan user group meetings mm. in all countries, not just in Germany. Uh, of course, Germany is uh, a very important market for us and there is a, the golden rule, first win your home games yes. before you're going outside. Yeah. And this is exactly what we are doing. So we are focusing on the German market, but we have also very good uh, partners, a very strong distribution network in Europe. And that allows us also to provide uh, the products and the customer service from one hand. And we're educating also the, the customers. So we have made uh, this year already a lot of user group meetings mm. I think in, in total maybe throughout Europe about 300 people wow. joined our user group meetings and we tried also not just to to bring latest technology to these people we tried also to listen what kind of applications they have yeah. because that's a very important uh, input for us uh, where the market uh, is going to and what kind of products we have to develop for the future to stay competitive. Yeah. Okay, well that's excellent. Thank you very much for your time, Thomas. Thank for thank you for talking to me. I hope the rest of the week is equally successful, and I hope we can talk again thank soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.